Hi, everyone. Welcome to the 26th annual City of Lake Forest 4th of July Parade. A beautiful day. A lot of uh, great folks out here ready to watch this parade and some amazing entries we're about to see. Thanks. So this year's parade is themed Let Freedom Ring, and we're looking forward to really having a good time today and celebrating 4th of July with you. Perfect weather, just about set to go. Before we do that, let's check in with the third member of our broadcast team. Garth, Uncle Sam Wyckoff always kicks it off with a bang. All right, G, we're going to have a great time out here today at this parade. A beautiful day. The sun is shining, and there's about 90 entries coming down the parade route. I'm going to stop, talk with a few of the folks, maybe do a few jokes, and some Fourth of July trivia. It's going to be a fun and fantastic day in Lake Forest. All right, Garth, Uncle Sam Wyckoff out on the parade route. Here we go. Orange County Sheriff's Department vehicles getting things started to kick off the parade, including a code enforcement vehicle and the world's famous STARS van. When you see the world's famous STARS van, be sure to wave hello. You can see them riding around Lake Forest, protecting and serving the city. Looking good. They always make it possible to pull off another great parade and keep the city of Lake Forest safe. Don't forget to follow the city of Lake Forest on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Lake Forest CA and Lake Forest Special Events for all the information here in the city of Lake Forest. All right, next up is Girl Scouts of Orange County. The Girl Scouts are 2.6 million strong, 1.8 million girls and 800,000 adults who believe in the power of every G-I-R-L, go-getter, innovator, risk taker and leader to change the world. Juliette Lowe began Girl Scouts in 1912. Her vision was to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. Girl Scouts offer every girl a chance to practice a lifetime of leadership, adventure, and success. All right, have fun out there, girls. Next up, it's the mayor, Scott Voigt, elected to the Lake Forest City Council on November 2nd, 2010. Scott has been a resident of Lake Forest since 1978. With him is his wife, Stephanie, of 27 years, and their 14-year-old daughter, Shaylin, who is their pride. Enjoy. Happy 4th of July. All right. So up next is Mayor Pro Tem, Leah Basil. Leo Basil was elected to office in 2016. She is a native Californian and moved to Lake Forest in 1997 and currently resides in Portola Hills. She believes the knowledge of each community within Lake Forest has provided insight in how to serve the people of this fine city. All right, say hello to council member Dr. Jim Gardner, along with his wife Ann, his son Marcus, and their daughter Sophia. All three generations live here in Lake Forest. A long-standing member of the parade committee and past president of Lake One HOA, Dr. Gardner has worked hard to get the city a dog park, bring meals on wheels to the city, and Create the Planning and Traffic Commission. Councilman Andrew Hamilton. We have Council Member Andrew Hamilton elected in 2014. Andrew, his wife Jill, and daughters Brooke and Ashley moved to Lake Forest when Ashley was knee-high to a grasshopper. Andrew and his family enjoyed living in Lake Forest because it's family-oriented. All right, it's Councilman Dwight Robinson, first elected to the Lake Forest City Council in 2012, served as mayor in 2014, was re-elected to the City Council in 2016. Dwight and his wife, Holly, have lived in Lake Forest since 1999. <laughs> Feel blessed to be raising their three children, Corinne, Luke, and Micah, in this great city. He and his family wish you all a happy 4th of July. Okay, now we have city manager Deborah Rose. This is Deborah Rose's 17th year with the city and the first year as city manager of Lake Forest. As the city manager, Deborah is responsible for the daily operations of the city, functioning as its chief executive officer. Deborah is currently focusing on building the new Lake Forest Civic Center. The Civic Center will include a community center, senior center, dual purpose city council chamber, and performing arts venue. 
a community policy center and city hall. She encourages the community to check out the project by viewing the construction cam on the city's website. She believes there's never been a better time to live and work in Lake Forest. All right, let's check in with our own Uncle Sam Garth Wyckoff along the parade route. All right, having some fun down here on the parade route, visiting with the family here, enjoying it. You guys having fun today? Yes, we are. It's awesome. Okay, it is America's birthday. Yes. How old is America today? Old Nicholas. Um, 1776 plus 200 gets you to 1976. You add another 41 and you get... 241, there's a long road that has that name too. Happy birthday, America, and happy 4th of July. Thanks, you guys. All right, G. Wow, the new math. Thanks, Garth. All right, get ready to stand up and cheer. Dance with the El Toro High School Chargers Cheer and Dance Pep Squad. Here they come. They're getting ready for the upcoming fall sports season where they will cheer for their teams at the high school football and basketball games, showing their support and school spirit. Today they are joined by some junior pep squad cheerleaders, grade levels K through sixth, where they just attended the El Toro High School Cheer and Dance Clinic to teach them some cheers, chants, and dance moves. Go Chargers! All right, the El Toro High School pep squad. Making some noise. All right, next we have the El Toro High School Royal Blue Regiment. Here we have the amazing Royal Blue Regiment from El Toro High School. The Royal Blue Regiment is an award-winning ensemble that made it to the Western Band Association State Championships in Fresno last November 2016. And they're looking to repeat the accomplishment. That's great news. Beginning in September, they will be seen performing throughout Southern California. But the easiest way is to see them at the El Toro Home Football Game. So go out and support them. They'd like to thank the City of Lake Forest and El Toro High School IPMI boosters for their ongoing support. applause congratulations El Toro High School Royal Blue Regiment well if you still have some open dates on the counter in your summer concerts in the park Mark this down, July 30th, 80s flashback here in Lake Forest, right, and then Joe. August 27th, end of summer bash with Common Sense. Let's check in and once again with Uncle Sam Wyckoff. All right, how many vowels are in the word independence? Too many. Too many is a good one. There are four E's in the word independence. Thank you, sir. Happy 4th of July. We're having a good time, aren't we? Woohoo! Garth is tough. All right, also should mention uh, Movies in the Park coming up starting this week, July 7th, and then July 21st, August 11th, and August 25th here in the city of Lake Forest. Go to the website, city website, lakeforestca.gov for all of the information. Plan out your summer. 
Here comes Freedom Village, vibrant continuing care retirement community in Lake Forest. Over 300 senior residents enjoy a great quality of life in independent living, assisted living, and skilled nursing. It's a place to live with the freedom to thrive. Let's hear Freedom Village ring. I'd like to also thank some sponsors, Mercedes-Benz of Foothill Ranch for donating the VIP cars and Enterprise of Lake Forest for upgrading the cars for the council and the city manager. Thank you very much. Freedom Ring. All right. Great seeing our seniors out. Okay. Here we have the Capistrano Valley A's. They're a group of about 40 families dedicated to the preservation and enjoyment of Model A Ford cars and trucks that were made from 1928 to 1931. They all came with 40 HP engines in the famous Aruga horns. <laughs> Say that again. How do you spell that? <laughs> Love those horns. <laughs> all right. What a club. There's Grandpa's taxi. <laughs> Got Mickey and Minnie in the back seat. And the and the and the big hands waving. <laughs> Perfect day to cruise in the A's. Right. Oh. 1928 to 1931. Wow, these cars are looking great. Yeah, great shape. having a great day celebrating this 26th annual City of Lake Fur Forest 4th of July Parade. Wow, they weren't kidding with that Aruga noise, <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, this group is from St. George's Church in Laguna Hills. Just across the freeway, St. George's is named in honor of the great dragon slayer, St. George. And there they are. And he decided to show up today. It looks like, uh, well, yeah, there's the dragon, too. The church is located at the Five in El Toro. St. George's is one of the oldest churches in South Orange County and one of the most fun. They have outdoor services, lots of parties, celebrations, and meals. Welcome, St. George's Episcopal Church of Laguna Hills. Mm. 
There's another cool event coming up here in the city of Lake Forest, a family camp out. July 15th and 16th takes place at the sports park, lakeforestca.gov, and uh, it'll give you all the information on that. Cool event, a camp out, July 15th and 16th. And if you'd like to watch a replay of this 4th of July parade, you can check it out on the city's YouTube channel. City of Lake Forest. Okay, so let's please welcome U.S. Congressman Mimi Walters. She represents the 45th District of California and currently serves as the House of Energy Commerce Committee. Mimi began her career in public service as a member of the Laguna Niguel City Council in 1996 and served as the city mayor in 2000. She has previously served in the California State Senate and State Assembly and also is a founder of the California Women's Leadership Association. Mimi Walters has also been active in con conservation causes for many years, including fighting for job creation, lower taxes, less intrusive government, and fiscal responsibility. Congressroom, Congresswoman Walters is married to her husband, David, whom they have four children. Mimi Walters. Hope you're enjoying the parade today. Again, this would not be possible without the support of the city council, city of Lake Forest staff, and the sponsors. The committee's goal when designing the parade has always been to reflect the city's motto, remember the past and challenge the future. So thank them every year. A lot of work to put this on every July 4th, the 26th annual. And here comes Lake Forest Little Pioneers Camp riding in their very own train. Yeah, Yay. look at that. Look These at campers that. love Lake Forest. Excited to be celebrating this 4th of July with you. The popular camp is sold out for 2017. I can see why. But they'd love to see your little pioneer in 2018. Let's hear it for Miss Cassie and the staff. Yeah. And their own train. <laughs> okay, staying assembly, Dr. Steve Cho. He was elected to the represent California's 68th, assemb 68th Assembly District in 2016. Dr. Cho is, Choi, I'm sorry, began his career in public service and he was elected to the Irvine Unified School District Board of, Cal of Education in 1998. He now represents the 68th Assembly District, which includes Lake Forest, Irvine, Orange, Anaheim, North Tustin, and Villa Park. Oh, this year's float for abiding Savior Lutheran Church and Schools, entitled Let Freedom Ring, and an auga, features members of the Bell Choir as well as students from the school and preschool. The stained glass umbrellas have been hand-painted to represent the windows at Abiding Savior. Abiding Savior is located on El Toro Road between Geronimo and Murlins. The school offers preschool through 8th grade. is ranked among the top hey, Christian schools in Orange County. Members of the church are also walking alongside the float, passing out fans and candy. Where's the fans and the candy? All right. Abiding Savior would also like to thank Mission Viejo Towing for providing that cool truck. Getting towed. All right, next we have County Supervisor Lisa Bartlett. Please welcome Orange County Supervisor Lisa Bartlett. Supervisor Bartlett represents the City of Lake Forest and the 5th District of Orange County, which encompasses all of South Orange County. Her priorities include uh, making sure our tax dollars are spent wisely and being responsible for your concerns. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Lake Forest welcome to your Orange County Supervisor, Lisa Bartlett. Hey, if you're 50 years old and better, the City of Lake Forest has great programs just for you. Enjoy dances, exercise, classes, free legal aid, free health care screenings, and lunch, and more. That's the Lake Forest seniors right there. Mm -hmm. In a taxi. And a train. Located at Lake Forest City Hall, the Senior Scene Clubhouse offers active seniors a place to meet new friends, make lasting memories, 
The city also offers a great transportation program. Call the city to find out more. It's a great program. A lot of individuals participate. They pick you up in that train? <laughs> That'd be the way to go. <laughs> okay, so Club Scout Pack 679 and 639. Here we are. They are in grades kindergarten through fifth grade. They enjoy spending time outdoors, including camping, fishing, and physical activities that challenge the scouts physically and mentally. Pack 679 is chartered by Shepherd of the Hills, United Methodist Church, and Mission Viejo. And Pack 639 is based in Foothill Ranch, California, and meets in Foothill Ranch Elementary School. Have a happy and safe 4th of July. Cub Scouts. Let's hear it. Riding their scooters. Good for them. All right, looking very patriotic out there. Cub Scout Pack 679, 639. How about the Moms Club? Check this out. Yeah. Moms Club, Club, local chapters participating. Mission Viejo, Lake Forest, Laguna Hills, and Rancho Santa Margarita. Moms Club is an international nonprofit organization that are moms who are offering moms support. They hold several events each week, including play dates, ladies' night out, fundraising, service projects, holiday parties, and a lot more. Mothers with children of all ages are welcome. Contact your city's local Moms Club for more information on how to join and start having fun, too. A nice ride for the Moms Club. Yeah. And Bubbles. All right. Okay, so the SoCal Mini Maniacs is a friendly, casual organization formed primarily as a social club for the enjoyment of Mini Cooper cars, new or classic. Mini Maniacs members enjoy driving their cars all over California roads and participate in the numerous car shows and charity events. Here they are. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow, that's a strong that's horn, huh, for a tiny car? That's not many. <laughs> wow. Easy. Oh. <laughs> I like those Mini Coopers. Yeah. Great. They're getting bigger. All right, cruising right along here on the 4th of July in the city of Lake Forest. Perfect day for the 26th annual parade. And now we have Santiago de Compostela Catholic Church. Served the city of Lake Forest since 1979 with over 30 ministries serving the needy in the community and supporting many other worthy charities. In honor of this year's parade theme, the Santiago Parade Band, the Freedom Tuners. We hear them. They're coming. They're performing their version of the hit song, Independence Day. You can join them on the 4.3 mile. Thanks for the... Got a Danish, Danish. there. I got a Danish. <laughs> you can join them on the 4.3 mile Camino de Santiago walk on Saturday, July 23rd. Information is available on the parish website. You saw Club uh, Cub Scout Pack 651 leading this group. Okay, 
Up next is the City of Lake Forest Parks and Recreation Planning Commissioners. The city's Park and Rec Commissioners is a decision-making body tasked with reviewing matters related to parks and recreation. There are five Park and Recreation Commissioners. Chair Loretta Heron, Vice President Victor Schur, Commissioner Francisco Bar Barajas, Commissioner Lisa Porter, and Commissioner Jim Rosenberg. The city's Planning Commissioner is a decision-making body tasked with reviewing matters related to planning and development. The Planning Commission consists of five miniatures, Chair Jolene Fuentes, Vice Pre President uh, Thomas Liddin, Co Commissioner Mark Armando, and Commissioner David Chair. The Commissioner Robert Delamido. <laughs> All right, I, I sense a train theme this year. <laughs> All right, up next, please welcome our 4th of July Parade Grand Marshal Ar Alberto Lopez. Alberto was born and raised in Manila, Philippines. He first started volunteering when he was in elementary school. Alberto has three children, four grandchildren. And he volunteers for uh, Senior Services Meals on Wheels. And our own Uncle Sam Garth Wyckoff is with the Grand Marshal. All right, Alberto, congratulations to you. This must be pretty special. In Lake Forest, the Senior Volunteer, Volunteer Award winner. How's this feel for you? It is really an honor and a pleasure, all with the Lake Forest, eh? That's fantastic. Do, doing good for all the citizens of Lake Forest. You always do. You're looking patriotic. Happy Fourth of July. Alberto Lopez getting it done here in the city of Lake Forest. <laughs> Gee. All right. Thank you, Garth. Congratulations, Alberto Lopez, this year's Grand Marshal. Does such great work for the city. All right, next up, look at these. The Mini Madness Miniature Therapy Horses is a group of miniature horses that was established in 2009. These mini horses have been trained to go indoors and into situations where a regular size horse would never go. We visit hospitals, schools, nursing homes, and many other settings. Our mission is to provide children, elders, and any person with disabilities therapeutic visits with a gentle, affectionate animal. It has been proven with therapy work with animals promotes the physical, emotional, and psychological lives of those who we serve. Look at those horses. <laughs> I like the stars in their manes. Yeah. Very patriotic. We had many minis, and we had many horses. <laughs> and the mini horse has the mini shoes. Oh, I love those shoes. Those are great. <laughs> you got to find four the same size. <laughs> All right, here's a fun group. Amigos de la Colina. In 1915, the Liberty Bell went through El Toro. Anybody remember that? All right, a few. Did it stop at the El Toro Depot in a route from San Diego to L.A.? The Amigos of Heritage Hill Historical Park like to think it did. If you have never paid a visit to our very own historical center, please do. It's located off Serrano and Tribuco Road. Here's just a, a little taste of it. Coming right to you. All right, here comes Club Scouts of Pac 918 of Saddleback Church. For those boys entering grades one through five, please listen up. Could your child use more outdoor experiences, learn godly values and the life skills in a fun environment? Club Scouting might be them for them. Who'd like to build fun memories as a family? Club Scouts of Pac 918 is a thriving pack in the city of Lake Forest and proudly sponsored by Saddleback Church. Join now and start getting to know your fellow scout friends during the summer. Check out more information on pack918.org.
All right, you can hear him coming up the road right now. It's Compass Bible Church, located in Aliso Viejo. The mission of Compass Bible Church is based on the Great Commission of Jesus Christ, where he calls every church, including Compass, to make disciples. It has greatly impacted the local community with annual outreach events, such as Fall Fest on Halloween and Eggs Travaganza during Easter. Find out more at compasschurch.org. group there. Everybody came out today. Yeah. All right. So next up, we have the Lake Forest 2 Dolphin Swim Club is a competitive s- summer swim team. For over 30 years, the Dolphins have given swimmers of all levels, age 5 to 18, an opportunity to experience the sport of competitive swimming in a fun and family-oriented atmosphere. Head coach, Olympic gold medalist, Caitlin Sandino Hogan, grew up in the area. Caitlin and her coaching staff focus on individual success through every stroke and good old hard work. Right, the swim club. The coach Caitlin Sandino. Next up, look at the coasters. Happy Fourth of July to the city of Lake Forest from the Cyclone Coaster Vintage Bicycle Ride. Now celebrating their tenth year of riding vintage bicycles on the first Sunday of every month along the beach and bicycle trails in Long Beach. <laughs> the Sunday rides average 150 to 200 riders a month. They come from as far as Northern California down to San Diego, Inland Empire, Arizona, beyond. All riders are welcome. Cyclonecoaster.com. Find out where they're riding. Looks like a lot of fun. Large group came out today. This is their ride on Tuesday. Okay, so up next we have the 2017 Parade logo winner, Hannah Smith. Hannah is a lover of arts and would love to pursue a career in graphic design, animation, or digital art. She lives in Mission Viejo and is currently a junior in high school. Hannah is excited to be involved in our community parade. Her mom made her do this. Thanks, Mom. (laughs) Cool logo. <laughs> Next entry is the Connection Church. Serves the city of Lake Forest with the motto, Love, Serve, and Connect. The church is passing out wristbands, so beware. Keep an eye out to remind the recipient that they are loved with safety tips to help families stay safe this summer. Also this morning, the church members are picking up trash along the parade route. That's very nice. As a reminder, they do what they can to help the city out. Church can all often be seen at community events with their bright shirts and hats, servant hearts, and a smile to brighten your day. Check out the Connection Church on Sundays at 10 a.m. There's those bright shirts. Can't miss them. 
Hope you all are enjoying the 26th annual City of Lake Forest 4th of July Parade. What a day it is here to celebrate in the City of Lake Forest. Don't forget, you can check out replays of this parade on the city's YouTube channel, City of Lake Forest. Also information on their website, lakeforestca.gov. And of course, plenty of social media, Instagram, Facebook, Lake Forest CA, and Lake Forest Special Events. Join them now. All right. Okay, Comet Quest. Comet Quest, one of the original retailers of Lake Forest, is still going strong after 35 years. Visit us for comics, games, toys, and more, located on Bridger Road, off of El Toro Road and the 5 Freeway. All right. I love the music. Comic books. Making a lot of noise. <laughs> Spider-Man. Got Spider-Man going yeah. by. Superman, Captain America. All right, the Lake Forest Little League. Eight, nine-year-old All-Stars. Superstars team is managed by Corey Vessels and his coaches are Jorge Guevara and Chris Mason. All right, hey, Corey. Okay, War Machine, have no fear, War Machine is here. A 1945 Willys Army truck driven by First Lieutenant Jonathan Cat... Uh, blue. Wow. <laughs> of the Civil Air Patrol and accompanied by his lovely wife, Christy, and a squad of neighborhood kids. Happy Fourth of July. Also saw that 1943 Willys MB, the workhorse during World War II. Thank you, everyone. All right, Thunderbird Circle of Orange County. We have the, this car club is dedicated to the preservation, restoration, driving, and showing these classic automobiles throughout Southern California. The club is composed of people interested in Ford Motor Company's Thunderbird model cars that were manufactured during the early 50s and retro years of the early 2000s. The Thunderbird Circle of Orange County was founded in August 1973 with over 20 families registered. Please visit them at thunderbirdcircleoc.com. Look at those cars. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool looking machines. Let's. Get it out to Garth, Uncle Sam Wyckoff. What do you got? I got to talk to you because you have the cool yellow Thunderbird. What's it like cruising this parade out in the sun today? Beautiful, wonderful day. Happy Fourth of July. I love that. You're looking patriotic. Enjoy your day. I love the yellow. Sunshine. Feeling good. All right. Cruising. Thanks, Garth. More T-Birds coming your way. Love it. All right, this is Pharaoh Church, multicultural base of unsaved, unchurched, and disconnected people through bilingual, relevant teaching, creative presentations, and a genuine heart of service. Pharaoh Church attends, attends to uh, spiritual and physical needs through acts of love and healthy relationships. Let's check them out.
Okay, welcome Club Scout Pack 629. Pack 29 is one of the most active Club Scout Packs around with at least five campouts per year. A Pinewood Derby, Rain Gutter, Regatta, Water Rockets, Crafts, Skits, and a whole lot more. Come, our pack includes energetic boys from all over Lake Forest and surrounding communities. Come join in the fun. And thank you to Tow and Mo Towing for supplying a truck for our boys to ride on. Wow. <laughs> All right, Mission Viejo Saddleback Valley Elks, number 2444, part of the Benevolent Protective Order of Elks, the premier charitable organization in the country helping children and veterans. The Elks provide scholarships sporting events that build teamwork, drug awareness campaigns, and they support our veterans. Elks care, Elks share. And they got a nice entry <laughs> with a fire truck. Always nice to have representing Mission Viejo Elks. got a big group there nice crowd nice entry welcome everyone uh, and mayor wendy in the group too mayor wendy buckdom hello there's a veteran, Mission Viejo Along with Elks. the veterans. Yes. From our neighbor, Mission Viejo. Yeah. All right, what a great group coming out to help participate in this 26th annual City of Lake Forest 4th of July Parade. Okay, in the summer of 2012, the United States Marine Corps created its first law enforcement battalions, a lean specialized force of military police officers that will quickly deploy worldwide to help investigate crimes from terrorism to drug trafficking and trade fledging. The battalion will be capable of helping control civil disturbances, handling detainees, carrying out forensic work, and using biometrics to identify suspects. They also could assist local authorities. The first enforcement battalions total approximately 400 Marines, of whom 25% are deployed overseas at any time. Let's give them a, a hand. Warm really, welcome on this 4th of July. Really appreciate their service. This is what we celebrate for. More support. Large tank there. Canine. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. The support committee established to manage the interrelationship between the residents, support organizations, and businesses of Lake Forest, and the members of First Law Enforcement Battalion and their families. Thank you for your support.
committee is responsible for providing support on a year-round basis with intent of making a positive and enhancing impact on the lives of the members of First Law Enforcement Battalion and their families. The committee is nonprofit. All members are volunteers. I win. All right, great looking group. Enjoying this beautiful day here in the city of Lake Forest. Let's check in with Garth Wyckoff. Well, I see a lot of color, a lot of red, white, and blue, but I don't see Ronald Reagan on a dinosaur too often, sir. Happy 4th of July to you. Quick question for you. There's 50 stars on the flag. How many stripes are on the American flag? 13. And representing? The first uh, 13 uh, colonies. You got that. How many are red and how many are white? Seven red. Seven red. You got it, sir. Happy 4th of July. They get smarter every year, I tell you what, G. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, here's the Terra Nova Band. Part of 10 Years Lake Forest Parade. We appreciate the support. Check them out in their band. Group All there. right, good group from Terra Nova. Yeah. Good music, good crowd. All nice and dressed up. All right. Great seeing them. All right. Next is the Lake Forest Little League 10 and 11 year old and intermediate all star teams. The 10 and under all star team is managed by Paul Earnshaw and his coaches Matt Williams and Justin Barney. The 11-year-old All-Star team is managed by Don Losberg and his coaches Sam Mayer and Juan Godino. Congrats, boys. Look out. Motivation. All-Stars. A lot of passion. Okay, welcome Science Heads. They are a Lake Forest-based nonprofit whose mission is to inspire people of all ages to learn more about science, technology, engineering, and math. We got the Science Heads here. Yeah. Brought their own telescope. Yeah, don't forget that solar eclipse, August 21st. First time in a long time. All right, Big Thunder, Spirit, and Rising Sun are out of Mission Viejo's YMCA. The Adventure Guides is a program designed for every dad to spend time with their kids and build the relationship of a lifetime. If you like camping, swimming, games, hiking, and fun in the outdoors, visit the Mission Viejo YMCA and ask about the adventure guides. Hey, hey. Yeah. Big Thunder. Big Thunder Spirit. Here they go. All right. Okay. So DanceWorks. DanceWorks has been part of Lake Forest for over 28 years. 
We have, they have students ages 2 to 18 and are proud to share their love of dance. 28 years. Thanks for the support. We love it. Wow, walking on your hands and everything. Skills. Impressive. All right, how many of you out there participated in the 5K this morning? Next up, it's the 23rd year for the Lake Forest El Toro High School Chargers 5K run and walk. All funds benefit El Toro High School. And here's your male winner, Miles Brubacher. Congratulations. A 5K in 16 minutes and 24 seconds. You wow. need to pick up the pace a little bit. Come on. <laughs> Just a little. Looking for the female winner. Don't see uh, Holly Jerry from Newport, but she was the winner in 19 minutes, 45 seconds. Up next, CRNR is proud to be the City of Lake Forest environmental service provider. We are honored to showcase our natural gas-powered red, white, and blue fleet in our miniature truck, too. CNR is committed to delivering exceptional service safely for the community. They are honored to be a sponsor and participant of the 26th annual 4th of July Parade. May freedom continue to ring, and may you all remember to recycle, too. CRNR wishes you a wonderful and safe 4th of July. Love that little truck. <laughs> Small loads. <laughs> Encouraging recycling. All right, Grace Christian Schools has been serving the Saddleback Valley community as a ministry of Grace Community Church since 1979. With 38 years of experience, traditions, and an outstanding reputation, Grace Christian Schools continues to thrive. They have a unique way of instilling God's Word into young hearts and providing a challenging education, including hands-on STEM activities in the Innovation Lab, where the child is in preschool, elementary, or junior high. Uh, junior high. We are... There, one school, one church, one family. 1979. That's where I went to preschool. A local. Right. You know it well. Carrying on the tradition yeah, here. Yeah, they're still participating. Still going strong. Okay, next, go Chargers. Let's welcome the El Toro High School girls varsity soccer team, the 2016 Seaview League champs, and congratulations, girl. Way to go, Lady Chargers. All right. I don't know. I know, right? So long. Oh, you are? Hello. Old school lifestyle is all about being healthy. That means eating right, working out, taking nutritional supplements to make sure that we have a balanced, healthy lifestyle. At Old School, they help achieve those goals. They partnered with some of the very best in the industry. They can help you pick the very best products on the market to get the results you're looking for. God first, they say. Stay the course. Strength, journey, wisdom, faith. Old school sports nutrition. Up next, Mission Possible, Relay for Life Lake Forest. Together, they make it happen. Relay for Life Lake Forest invites you to be part of the spirit of American innovation to 
identify new ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat cancer. The 12th Relay for Life Lake Forest will be at the Lake Forest Sports Complex on July 29th, starting at 10 a.m. There is hope in the new day. Let's join the family-oriented, fun-filled, free event. Sign up and walk. We salute our survivors and caregivers that were join us today. We all celebrate, remember, and fight back. All right, at the skate park of Lake Forest. Where's Garth when you need him? Where's that skateboard? <laughs> all about the Ninja Turtles. Come visit Lake Forest's own award-winning world-class skateboard facility. 62,000 square feet of fun. The skate park is a destination spot for skateboarders from around the world. Park is open to the public seven days a week, including most holidays. Park entry is free for Lake Forest residents. Can't beat that. So proud of our skate park. See some tricks. Good job. Nice. Very cool. Okay, Dancing Like David. This is Dancing Like David's 12th year in the parade featuring local Christian artists. This year, making their third appearance is Orange County's only gospel reggae band, King David's Band. Their stage on wheels is courtesy of Care Trucking. What a rig. All right, here comes Spider-Man. He's going to be coming to the theater soon. Regal Foothill Ranch 22 would like to invite you to the Reg Regal <laughs> Summer Movie Express. Bring the whole family to enjoy G and PG rated movies every Tuesday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Warning. Wish everyone a happy fourth. Oh. Warning, this is a low speed thrill ride. Expect sudden breaking, sharp turns, and extreme off camper situations. Body damage and vehicle rollovers likely. Born in America in 1941, the Willys Jeep was built for the military during World War II. Here they go. The word Jeep is believed to be slang for GP, the abbreviation of general purpose vehicle. Today, the word Jeep can be considered the acronym for just empty every pocket. Build it, break it, fix it, repeat. Jeepers. Got our Jeep. Happy Fourth, all those cool rides Hi. out there. Nice Jeeps. All right, don't forget, lakeforestca.gov is the city's website if you haven't visited it lately. Lots of great information and all the social sites as well for the city. Team Harley Martin family and friends. They represent the National Brain Tumor Society and Team Harley Martin family and friends. This is the fourth year they get to drive this beautiful 69 Z28 Camaro. Lovingly restored by Ronna Martin in honor of her late husband Harley driving the cars. This year's Harley's son, Harley Ryan Martin with his sister, Mira Martin Cole and her daughter, Caitlin Cole with Ronna Martin and her fiance, Edgar Willis, I got him packed in that car. Today's Ronna's 58th birthday, everybody. All right. Sing happy birthday. 
Up next, this is the Blue Star Mothers of Orange County, Chapter CA44. These are mothers who have sons and daughters currently serving active duty or reserves or veterans representing the Army, Air Force, Coast Guards, Marine, or Navy. This year is the 75th anniversary of the Blue Star Mothers of America. The Blue Star Mothers of Orange County is honored to have been chartered in 2017 as the newest chapter in the Diamond Jubilee. Just as bells have rung to signify freedom for Americans for more than 200 years, church bells have rung throughout the history of this next entry, Arbor Christian Fellowship, calling on people to join together in prayer for its leaders and the future. The like church, it's a replica church that right. stands at Heritage Hill Historical Park as a piece of Lake Forest history. That is very cool. What a nice that is really cool. entry. I like that. The bell tower and churches across Beautiful. the city ring to call us together for strength and purpose. Thank you. What a beautiful entry this year. Arbor Christian Fellowship. Okay, we got Southside Towing was created out of necessity for a quality towing service in the Southern California air area. The basics of the company's inception was a by-the-book ideology combining superb customer service. They have staff experience and tools to quickly and safely handle all your towing needs. From light duty to medium duty to heavy duty with our big rigs, they can handle it. As you know, Southside Towing is the company to trust for your towing needs. Wow. And then it's the sweeper guys, providing high quality street sweeping services at extremely competitive rates. Their fleet of trucks fitted with rotating steel brushes to get your gutters clean better than a vacuum truck. They also team to call to clean your storm drains at a cost that can't be beat. Sweeperguys.com. They're back. Crazy Uncle Sam and Snoopy ride again. This is a very popular entry with all the kids of Lake Forest. They love to see Snoopy riding up front in the biplane right behind the whirling propeller. This is the 23rd parade for Bob Pratt and Snoopy's 14th. Bob loves to zoom around in his homemade World War I quarter scale. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a replica. question for you. We got, we I got, got a very important question for you, Bob. sir. Got him. Now, we were all thinking, what would happen if you crossed America's national bird with Snoopy? What would you get? <laughs> a bald beagle. Okay. All right, happy 4th to you. What do you love most about being in this parade and celebrating the 4th of July? Uh, it's like small town America here. It's, uh, it's fun to come out and see neighbors and friends, and um, I get to act like a crazy hot rodder, and I have a ball. You do have a ball. Enjoy yourself. I'll get out of your way, out of the runway. Have some fun in that biplane. Go! Right. There he goes. 23 years. Bob. Zooming around. I love it. Sop with camel. Snoopy right up front. Classic. All right, you can hear there's trouble coming. I hear it. Spurs and Satin started in 2005, but they're all about reenacting history, keeping the Old West alive, using accurate costuming, guns, skits, displays. Oh, Ooh. this San Juan Capistrano-based group is committed to promoting education and appreciation for America's frontier history. Spurs and Satin performs all over Southern California and as far away as Tombstone, Arizona. Let's see if there's any trouble uh, brewing here. <laughs> yep. Wow. There's some trouble. <laughs> wow. If that didn't wake you up, I don't know what will. <laughs> Spurs and Satin. Recreating the Old West, keeping it alive. Again, you can watch this parade again on the city's YouTube channel, City of Lake Forest. 
and you can check out <laughs> wow this trouble Up next, we have the Shaolin Kung Fu, which was formed in the cultural environment of the Songchan Shaolin Buddhist Temple. It was historically formed, wow, faith-based to the Buddhist god. It fully embodies the wisdom of Chan Buddhism and the Wang Wu Kung Feng practiced by the Shaolin monks. The center is located in Costa Mesa. Wow, impressive. Shaolin Kung Fu Center, located in Costa Mesa. All right. All right, here comes the Glee Music Academy. They're located in Lake Forest right here. Offer show choir classes where students sing pop, rock, and upbeat music. They also offer private voice, piano, drum, and guitar lessons. There you see the website, gotglee.com. Got Nice scene. Okay, so up next, Lake Forest Little League 14-year-old juniors and intermediate all-stars. These are the 14-year-old Lake Forest Little League's juniors and intermediate teams. The juniors team, the Lake Forest Bulls, won the District 55 Tournament of Champions in early June. Congratulations. First team to do so far for Lake Forest since 2008. Most are now representing Lake Forest as the Juniors All-Star Team. Manager John Claycomb and his coaches are Robert Duvall and Shane Winger. They finished with a 3-2 and two record and made it to the semifinals. The Intermediate All-Stars manager is Steve Agor and his coaches Kobe Agar and Greg Thomas. Congratulate the teams. Awesome job. Hi, Greg. <laughs> Good job. All right, check out this creation. The El Toro High School Auto Shop been working overtime with a vehicle that a student uh, modified, it's affectionately called the Aquastar Van. A 1994 Ford Aerostar Van has been donated to the high school. Students removed the roof, added some boat accessories, <laughs> and there you go. You've got yourself an Aquastar. Like the waving hands. The auto shop at El Toro would like to wish everyone a happy fourth. Cool ride. Good job. Please welcome Hot Rods Unlimited. It is a local family-oriented car club with over 70 members who love to share a love of cars, fun, 
and um, enjoying the hobby. The club enjoys its cruises, car shows, parades, and special events that focus on community support. Club meetings are held the second Tuesday every month at 6.30 at Denny's in Foothill Ranch. The 18th annual event will be held September 23rd at the Orange County Fair and Events Center in Costa Mesa. Hot Rods Unlimited, here they are. Variety of different cars, love it. Bright red. All decked out for the birthday. Yeah. Great way to kick off this 4th of July, 26th annual parade. Thanks again to all the folks that get out here very early in the morning and everyone who gets organized with all their entries and spends all their time decorating. A lot of hours put into organizing this. And it's Red been going on for a long time. Thanks to all those folks, the committee, the city council, all the volunteers. All right. And all the folks and families get to come out and enjoy this day. Wrapping it up with the hot rod here. Pack 765 from Lake Forest is here, serving the scouting needs of Santiago and La Madera Elementary Schools, first through fifth grade. The scout program has a roundup in September with three to four campouts throughout the year, including an annual campout at Calico Ghost Town to launch rockets that the boys build. That's a cool place. Pack 765 wishes all of you an exceptional 4th of July. Keep enjoying your independence. Going a long way on those scooters. I think I'd take the wagon. <laughs> That's a good ride. I could pull you in the wagon. <laughs> <laughs> it's my way to do a parade. Here's some music. Yeah, I've a lot of great bands so far in the parade today. A lot of church bands entertaining mm -hmm. the crowd. Great dance groups. We had the El Toro Blue Regiment. Yeah. Marching band. A lot of award winning groups. And another one on the way. All right. So, Second Baptist Church. Pastor Ivan Pitts and the Second Baptist Church family wishes you all a blessed and safe Fourth of July. Visit us in Lake Forest or our Santa Ana location. Find us at spcfamily.com. Second Baptist Church. Fun. All right, sounding good. This is the Salvin family's tribute to World War II veterans. 1947 Willie's CJ28 Jeep, fully restored to a wartime appearance. 
It has a replica Browning 1919 A4 30-caliber light machine gun. Normandy invasion markings, unit markings for the 2nd Cavalry Group of General Patton's famous 3rd Army. Patton's Ghost Army is remembered for their lightning-fast advances and moves. Nicely restored. Beautiful Willie's Jeep. Okay. Here come some more kids. Yeah. Creative Kids Playhouse Children's Theater of Orange County was founded right here in Lake Forest just a few years ago in 2011. Today's parade entry is celebrating their 139th production, Shrek the Musical. They are known throughout Orange County for producing musicals, school plays, and classes with actors ranging from 3 to 18. Let's check them out singing I'm a Believer from the musical Shrek. Okay, Westco. Here is Westco Communications with their car, a 1969 El Camino. Happy Fourth of July from the Westco team. All right, 1969 El Camino, huh? All right, I think it's time for our own Uncle Sam to... Uh, entertain you with his Kevin. stumping trivia questions. Kevin, All right, you guys. I got some families over here. G, we're having a good time. Hey, did you guys hear the one about the Liberty Bell? It cracked me up, I tell you what. Listen, hey -oh. what do you love most about the 4th of July? Oh, just the community aspect coming out here and just uh, enjoying each other. It's fantastic. You having a good time today? Absolutely. Loving it. Happy 4th of July for the families. You can have it. Go ahead. You want it? <laughs> All right. Hope we have time for more of those jokes. Next, we have our local soccer friends from the largest soccer club in the world, represented by AYSO Region 85 right here in Lake Forest. For over 50 years now, AYSO continues to provide world-class youth soccer programs that enrich children's lives. AYSO has a program for everyone from beginner to club level. There are over 1,500 kids ages 4 to 18 playing right here in the city of Lake Forest. Region 85 was recognized for the 12th straight year as being honored as a platinum region with this prestigious award for excellence. Okay, Lake Forest Demole Chapter. It's a premier youth leadership organization building young men of character and dedicated to making young men better people and leaders, providing a program based on timeless principles and practical experience. They not only strive to create extraordinary leaders, but a leader of character. They hold themselves to a higher moral standard. If you can dream it, you can do it in Demole. All right. Heritage Christian School accredited preschool through high school by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges and Association of Christian Schools International. Heritage Christian Schools, two campuses located at Arbor Christian Fellowship and at Reverence Bible Church. Heritage Christian School provides each student with a foundational, fundamental, and traditional curriculum that integrates God's Word throughout each subject. Thanks. Heritage Christian School offers classroom ostracizes that are optimal and cultivate an excellent learning experience. Heritage Christian School is celebrating its 10th year in the community. If you are searching for a school with an atmosphere of love and encouragement, you have found the right place at Heritage Christian School, heritagechristianschool.com. And it, I got a dum-dum out of it. <laughs> All right, up next, Pacific Coast Corvettes. It's a nonprofit corporation founded in 1989 to celebrate America's sports car, the Corvette. 
The primary pur purpose of this organization is to promote Corvette enthusiasm through planned road trips, social gatherings, supportive charities, driving safety events, and car maintenance. They have something for everyone from car shows, parades, road racings, auto crossings, weekend getaways, cruises, and dinner events. They're the member of the National Council of Corvette Clubs, which was or organized in 1959. If you like to have fun, enjoy Corvettes, and would like to be part of the club, please consider joining them. Pacific Coast Corvettes. There's just a few. Yeah, there's a large group there. Today. It says oh. here they have over 16,500 members and 269 clubs throughout the United States. And a lot of them showed up right here. Exactly. I like the yellow Corvettes. Yeah, you can't miss them. And the red ones always. True. Always the little red Corvette. Right. All decorated. All right, up next, the Orange County Chinese Ladies Group, organized to promote a healthy lifestyle and volunteerism by actively contributing in community activities. Founded in February 2013 by 28 Chinese lady, ladies as a hiking group. This fast-growing group now has over 800 members. Besides weekly hiking activities in South Orange County, the group has been actively involved in community events. During the past year, the group volunteered at the Irvine Great Park Food Bank organized a mid-autumn festival in Mission Viejo and a Chinese New Year festival in Laguna Woods. Provided Chinese culture, art, and craft displays for the Mission Viejo Library and hosted a series of seminars on topics such as parenting and breast cancer awareness. This is the third consecutive year the group has participated in the parade. We wish the people in the city of Lake Forest a very happy 4th of July. What a great group. Doing a lot of great things, getting around. Orange County Chinese Ladies Group. Huge group there. All right, so we have the Spirit and Truth Lighthouse. They are a Christian Pentecostal church in South Orange County, reaching out to all nationalities and ages. It's their passion to enrich and empower your life through anointed music, worship, dynamic preaching, healing, and prayer. Come and receive your blessing at Spirit and Truth Lighthouse. There they are. Thank you. Happy Fourth of July to everybody. All right, Freemasonry is one of the oldest and largest fraternal orders in the world. It has affiliated groups such as the Order of Demolay for young men, which include notable members such as Walt Disney and Pete Rose. Rainbow Girls for young women with notable members such as Senator Carol Hudkins and Major General Lorraine K. Potter. And the Order of Eastern Star, which is open to both men and women with notable members such as Clara Barton, founder of the Red Cross, Rosa Parks, and Harry Truman. What a great organization. There's the Order of the Eastern Star. And the El Bacal. All right, can you believe it? We're almost 
at the end of this 26th annual City of Lake Forest 4th of July Parade. What an afternoon, morning it's been. Yeah, it's been quite exciting. I may hear some dinosaurs coming our way. Oh, and feel them? I don't know. I, I see something moving on this float coming. Uh-oh. All right. Wow, here we have the City of Lake Forest Department of Jurassic Parks and Recreation. Their float includes the world-famous T-Rex. The Department of Jurassic Parks and Recreation can be visited in June 2018 at Dino Days at the Nature Park. The department would like to thank the Jurassic Park Motor Pool for bringing these wonderful vehicles to the parade. The department would like to remind you when you're visiting the park, if anything chases you, run. Oh. I see a lot of smoke. Very cool. This is the Underground Dance Company located in Laguna Hills and offers a free trial class. Dance classes offered to ages 18 months and up. They're an age-appropriate studio and offer a safe place where the kids can be kids and just dance. the Lake Forest Flag Football League. This is the Lake Forest NFL Youth Flag Football League. Their brand new organization in Lake Forest. Games will be held at the new Lake Forest Sports Complex. To register, email them at lakeforestflag at gmail.com. Very exciting. All right, are you ready? Get up. And work out, Hardcore Fitness Studio, conveniently located off the 5 Freeway in the brand new Lake Forest Gateway Shopping Center. With dynamic cycling, Zumba classes in a nightclub setting, as well as candlelit yoga, kettlebell, boot camp, Tabata, even kids classes. All right. There's going to be something for you, I'm sure. Definitely. And we did mention, very affordable. Check out the class schedule. Get a free class at the Hardcore Fitness Studio. Burn, burn, burn. Wow, they're even showing it off. <laughs> it's the mobile spin class. <laughs> Woman of the Woods Book Club. The Woman of the Woods Book Club is a local Lake Forest monthly book club that has, they've read over a hundred books and have the cataracts to prove it. They're currently writing their own collaborative cookbook soon to be purchased. Woman of the Woods Book Club. Wow. <laughs> hundred books. Another great band. Coming your way, Grooving on Wheels, provided by Lake Forest Trucking Company, is Kerr Trucking. Trust One is a group of local musicians and worship leaders that love the gift of God was, has given them. It's their second year in the parade. Yeah.
Okay, welcome Rubicon. This patriotic Jeep Rubicon is driven by United States Marine Corps beyond, uh, Vietnam veteran Roger honoring the U.S. and Marine Corps on this Independence Day. Simplify and thank you for your service. Okay, gee, here they come. You guys did all the hard work. The parade committee, 4th of July from Lake Force. Make some noise for them. Look at that. They thank you for attending. I know if you could talk, Hummingbird, you would tell me you're having a buzzing good time today, right? I knew you would. One more time, the 4th of July parade committee here in Lake Force. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. Great time. All right. Last but not least, and the hardest working group, the committee. Thanks, Garth. And that's going to do it. Hope you folks enjoy the day. It's wonderful coming out here. Thank you for coming out to celebrate the 4th of July with City of Lake Forest. A lot of great music. Of course, a lot of patriotism today. Definitely. Great turnout. I believe everyone enjoyed it and had a good time. Yeah, we hope everybody enjoyed it as well, watching it. And Thank remember, stay well. safe, and we'll see you next year right here in the city of Lake Forest. Thanks for watching. Thank you.